well surprisingly this is not one that I brought back with me from Yorkshire but I just kicked this rock glacier erratic and there's an ammonite inside it I've just been tapping away at this ammonite lightly See this piece has come off the outer well. I've got a nice crack over the surface of the rock. Got to be careful. I think three. Well, guys, I've seen it. A little bit of calcite exposed there, but for a Norfolk coast ammonite, Dactyliosaurus, I'm very happy with that. Moved by glasses. Back again, day two. Just spotted a fossil. See if you can see it with me. Sitting right there, it looks like a nice echinoid. That's a lovely one. This is a Cretaceous echinoid fossilised in flint. At least 60 to 80 million years old, something like that. Looks like some lovely detail on it. Beast of an echinoid. I'll go wash it off and get some close ups. Just walking amongst these stones, hoping for a tooth. I've just noticed this fresh piece of bone here. This, this obviously has not been rolling around on the beach for long. So if this bone is here, quite unworn, it's probably identifiable from its shape. Curvature. So a good chance it might be a tooth. Keep searching. There's a strange one for you. But I don't know what this is. If it's a fossil. Looks nearly like a shell in there. Some type. Now 
that's definitely a Kiba. I thought it was the Jurassic Grife here. I bet that with polish. That's real nice. It's going to be a polisher. Let's see what we end up with on that. Cool little find. so far this week. Awesome. Oh yeah, there's the Schrager lines. Great. So yeah, very small piece of mammoth tusk. Well, I think I've just spotted the smallest fragment what I'm looking for. Can you see it there? Ooh, it's my favourite find. Look at that. Very small fragment of teeth. teeth today. Looks to me as though there's now about to be quite a substantial cliff fall here. You can see the sand is moving. There's a vast amount of material being washed away by the sea that used to lay here, but the sea has got in behind the sea defence and is now starting to carve all this out, which is good news for fossils, bad news for coastal erosion. Right, so the reason I've turned the camera on is I think I've got something pretty good here. Stuck. And this, well, beam. Right, this is a, a, oh yes, it's an absolute monster of an echinoid. It looks to me as though it's actually probably got a chalk core. You can see the outer flint skin is kind of slightly crushed, but. 
that is one of the large examples that you'd actually find here. Spectacular urchin.